is just devastating. Just devastating. After recent heavy rainfall, this mobile home community and Huron Township looks like it's sitting on water as vehicles that were once parked float nearby. We have seniors in here. They can't get out. If there was any medical emergencies, nobody would be able to get in. When Timothy Yeager saw the damage, he rushed over to the Country Meadows Mobile Home Park to check on his father. His dad is okay, but as he left the complex, his vehicle needed to be pushed out. It won't start. It's probably hydrolocked. So it's probably going to need an engine. The Great Lakes Water Authority is asking residents and low lying areas that are prone to flooding during heavy rainfall to remain vigilant and out of an abundance of caution to remove items of value from their basements. As residents try to cope, they also want answers. I'm beyond frustrated. Um, number one, I missed like 12 hours worth of pay today. Number two, I feel like they're not doing nothing Two. Get rid of all this. But some tried to make lemonade out of lemons. I've been swimming in it. It's so much fun. Fox who reached out to the management at Country Metals, but are still waiting on a response. It's a dangerous situation. Parts of Detroit are also dealing with flooding. This scene is out of southwest Detroit. And Michigan State Police tweeting out this advisory with phone numbers for drivers to call after they drove through standing water on freeways and now their vehicles won't move. But downriver got hit hard. Trees were knocked down by heavy winds and heavy rainfall. And flooding is widespread. This driver who drove through flooding to get to a doctor's appointment says it's time for change. Just work on the infrastructure. And here on Township, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.